morning, Internet. Right, a couple of weeks ago, a week ago, I did a very quick tutorial Lightroom on five shortcuts I use often. We're going to do it again, but this time I'm focusing just on crop. Some shortcuts that will make your crop and cropping work in Lightroom a little bit easier. Here we go. So, from anywhere within Lightroom, if you have an image selected, the first shortcut key you need to know is R. That takes you straight into the crop menu, opens it in develop, and you can work from there. Think of it as, it, as recompose. R for recompose opens your crop menu. Now, once you're inside your crop menu, a couple of them get activated. Number one, if you notice, the padlock on the side is closed, which means the ratio is locked. Yeah, That means that if you were to crop now, you, it'll always stay in that particular ratio. If you want to open that and crop freely, A, the shortcut A, watch the padlock, opens up, and you can then crop freely any dimension that you want. So A is our second one, opens and closes that padlock. Let's leave it closed for now. Third one is the X key. Now remember, when you're in crop, X has a different function than when you're not in crop. When you're not in crop, X means you're marking that file for rejection. When you're inside of crop, watch this, X flips the orientation. So it took the original ratio, it flipped it into a portrait mode, and if I hit it again, it keeps the same size, and then just keeps rotating. So X, inside crop, flips that orientation. Now, let me reset that. Next one is, I must be honest, I don't use it all that often, but sometimes you might want to compose differently. While you're in crop, you can hit O, which changes the overlay that you have from the rule of thirds, tighter, there's the golden mean, there's different print sizes, 2x3, 5x7, 4x5, a grid, which is nice for converging line architectural stuff and likes. So, R, O, X, and A, those are the ones we've done so far. R takes you into crop mode from anywhere. A opens and closes the padlock, so it restricts or doesn't the orientation. X rotates the orientation between landscape and portrait, and O gives you a different overlay. Right, let's go a little bit deeper. So, with my padlock closed, if I were to, for example, grab the top of this crop and just pull down, you'll see it's anchored at the bottom, so it comes in from the top down. If I want to crop straight to the middle of the frame, I can hold Alt, and then pull in, and you'll see now, that's holding Alt, it pulls the frame to the center. This is when the padlock is closed. If I open the padlock with my shortcut as A, if I now do the same thing, I hold Alt, grab the top, it'll bring the top and the bottom in, yeah? So that's a nice one. If, again, padlock is closed, I'm holding Alt while I crop, it pulls the entire frame into the center of the image. If my padlock is open, and I do the same thing, it brings it in top and bottom, or then, for that matter, side to side. Right, last one, and this is quite a handy one for the straightening the horizons, and it also plays within the crop module, is holding, inside crop, I hold the command key, it changes to the water level cursor, and I can then draw a line on where my horizon, my skew horizon is. Release, and it fixes that up. Right, there we go, so, one more time. R takes you straight into the crop mode from anywhere in Lightroom with the specific image selected. A will open and close that padlock, which if the padlock is closed, your ratio is constricted. If it's open, you can crop freely. X within the crop module rotates orientation from landscape to portrait. What else? O will give you the different overlays within the crop module. Then, with the padlock closed, holding Alt will pull the entire frame into the center. If your padlock is open and you do the same thing, it'll either bring both top and bottom in or side to side in. And the last one is command on a Mac and control on a PC. Holding that in while in crop, you can draw your horizon and it'll fix that up. Quick one, nice and easy. Now remember, that's the technical side of cropping. That's how you do it. Why you do it and why you decide to crop in a specific orientation or look and feel, that's a very different discussion. That's a discussion on the artistic side of, well, of photography and of cropping. Which way does the energy go? Is it side to side? Is it up and down? I'm going to leave you with this. So if I were to crop, for example, this image I have here, if I crop that to something like that, the energy in the frame goes side to side. If I did something more like this, there's a very different feel to the image. So again, those shortcuts is the technical side of it. That's how you crop. You still have to think as to why you want to crop. And then you'll be on the right track. Right, that's a quick one. If you have any other short tutorials you'd like to see, 
Drop me a message, details at the end of this video and we'll pump them out for you. My name is Jerry, I'm from Wild Eye. I will see you guys next time.